There are many traditions surrounding the drinking of port wine. Historically, it was mainly consumed by the British with their love of ceremony and tradition. But now it's known as one of the great classic European wines and is drunk all over the world. Taylor's is one of the oldest producers of port, dedicated to its finest styles and nestled in the beautiful Douro Valley in Portugal. For a select few companies, their history is measured not in decades, but in centuries. And this, one of the most respected of port wine houses, is well into its fourth. Taylor's has been a family-run business since 1692. And this place, the famous cellars in Porto, is its hushed and historic heart. Here, time, patience and expertise are rewarded. Thousands of barrels, different vineyards, different eras. A million and more variables, says Taylor's managing director, Adrian Bridge, mastered in a very special alchemy. Our blenders and our winemakers will be analysing how those wines are evolving because you're trying to get something that's a fixed point of a Taylor 20-year-old that you taste today should be the same as you tasted last year or hope to taste next year. That quality has to... That has to maintain, and yet each year you've got a different harvest, and each year you've got different evaporation happening. We lose over a thousand litres a day in evaporation. A thousand litres a day? A thousand litres a day across our entire business is lost into what we call the angel share. And, it, and it's, you know, that starts to give you the, the sense of scale of, of just what, what evaporative losses can be. But that's not a problem, is it? That's an essential part of the process. You can't make aged tawny um, any other way. Aged tawnies, vintages, late bottled vintages, white ports and more, they're all evolutions of a style that emerged when British merchants in Portugal began fortifying wines with brandy to help them last the sea journey home. It was an innovation the British appreciated, and they still do. As a recognition of his excellence, Taylor's has a royal warrant. Well, a royal warrant is an affirmation of the quality and traditions that we have as a business and, and is a privilege to earn because we have been supplying Her Majesty the Queen uh, for a number of years. The royal family is a family business, so is Taylor's. What are the, the pressures and the, and the pleasures that come with that? The in inevitable benefit of being uh, such a company is that we do tend to think about the medium to long term. So we put wines aside that we know uh, will not only be sold by our grandchildren. Uh, we make investments in vineyards which we realise will only produce their top wines in perhaps 30 years after we have gone. Adrian took over the reins from his father-in-law, Alistair. It's detail. It's endless detail and endless hard work. In 1970, his innovation of late bottled vintage helped steer tailors through some tough times for the port industry. The other thing of vintage, you decanted it, you had a frightful performance, you didn't do it. So late bottled vintage was there. And in the home, you could just open it and pour it. There, no hassle. And yet it has the style of vintage when you're ready for drinking. So that was a, a good great success. Everybody else followed as, as it went on, which was great because it helped to push the whole lot. So everybody who has a late bottled vintage. But we are still the brown leader. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yes, of course you are. <laughs> Alastair's daughter and Adrian's wife, Natasha, is Taylor's former chief blender, now a non-executive director. So as it goes into the glass, you should see that wonderful, deep, That's almost blood berry red, colour. It? It's absolutely fabulous. It was a very good year, 2017. Over a delicious late bottle vintage, Natasha took me through what blending is all about. The art is looking at those different wines and saying, OK, this, these ones will be right for this category, those will be right for that style of wine, etc. Putting them into those different styles and then aging them accordingly. You watch these wines and you basically mould them over time um, and so that they do what you need them to do for each style. It's like being a parent. It is, absolutely. <laughs> People always say to me, which, you know, which wine do you prefer? I was like, oh, it's like choosing between my children. <laughs> I can't children. do that. As the current guardians of Taylor's, this family is aware of their responsibilities. 
They respect the illustrious history of this venerable company. They know they have a duty to nature and the unique environment of the Douro Valley where their grapes are grown. And they must maintain the benchmark excellence of their ports for all their customers, from the ordinary to royalty. Should we have a little toast, though, to um, given that it's you know the royal warrant and oh, Majesty the Queen for her platinum jubilee? Yeah. So yes, yeah. many congratulations. Many congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. That's rather fine, isn't it? Yeah, well. Now I think we're going to do is do a little bit of eating. <laughs>